for you movie buffs out there who are here. Um, anyways, he, he is this friend that went to prom with this beautiful boy, Timothy Chalamet. Um, and that means that I am only three people away from Timothy Chalamet. Isn't that crazy? It's me, and then him, and then her, and then Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> And by coming here, you are all my friends. Uh, so now all of you are only four people away from Timothy Chalamet. Congratulations. That must feel like so good for you all. He, um, I think he might, you know, we're only four people away. You guys are at least. <laughs> um, he, might, he might, like, cast us in a movie. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, you know, we're, we're mutuals on Facebook. <laughs> they have mutuals, probably, with Timothy Chalamet. Um, and now all of your parents are only five people away <laughs> from Timothy Chalamet. When you leave here, I want you to call them on the phone and I want you to tell them that. And report back. <laughs> oh my god. Um, by the way, uh, I'm, I'm doing stand-up comedy for the show with Michael as the host. Let's give him a round of applause. He's been doing it for uh, Michael's doing me a big favor, because you know, I, I have been in stand-up shows before, and my, my problem that I have every time is that I go way on, I go way too long. I tell too many jokes. People love it. People love it. <laughs> just love it. And they love it, and it just goes on for way too long. So I, Michael is gonna, he's been timing me. Um, so I, I wanna get, you know, we have so many great comedians tonight. I want, you know, to split the time evenly. So Michael is timing me. Um, just, just to let you know, I just wanted to let you all in on that. <laughs> um, thank you, Michael. Um, oh my God, listen to this. Listen to this. Uh, I was at Walmart the other day. I was at the Walmart and um, I was standing there shopping, uh, looking at candles. Um, I'm a candle guy now. Um, and I, I look over to the, the fake candles, and there is some bozo walking his cart, and he just bumps into all the candles, and he they fall onto the ground, and he just looks down, And he keeps walking. <laughs> he keeps walking past this, this fake candles that are now on the ground to be stepped on. That's not where they belong. <laughs> you know, this isn't 
the caveman times. <laughs> you can't just bump into a big pile of rocks and then they fall on the ground and you can just walk past like nothing happened, like those rocks belong to nobody because those candles belong to Walmart. <laughs> How does somebody, somebody took the time to put those there. Somebody, somebody came up with the designs of that fake candle. He got the maid, he had blueprints. <laughs> and he got the maid. And then Walmart, Walmart, you know, put his fake candles there, next to the real candles. So, I don't know, for middle schoolers to do seances, maybe? I don't know what the fake candles are used for. Um, but anyways, this guy, he, he knocks these fake candles down, and I'm just sitting there like, uh, 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 <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes with this guy. I couldn't believe it. And I'm sitting there, and you know, he, he's, you know, <laughs> um, and I'm sitting, you know, he's sitting there. He's thinking about these candles in the sky. He was so ignorant and just knocks, knocks these candles onto the ground. And then I realized. I am inside a corporation, the corporation of Walmart, this gross conglomerate, Walmart, and this guy who just vandalized everything and knocked these candles on the ground, he's probably just looking out for the little guy. He probably is trying to be, break down the capitalist uh, uh, conglomerate known as Walmart. <laughs> This guy probably has a small business of fake candles all his own. And he's just doing what's right for him and everybody else. I love this communist guy. That was my time at Walmart. Um, all right, so uh, uh, this is my last joke. Uh, Cafe Baron Care. Okay, I'll hurry up. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll hurry up. Okay, so I was, I was, okay, you guys, do you guys know Cafe Baron Carol? You guys know Cafe Baron Carol? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, it closed. I'm so sad about it. Uh, I know, yeah, oh. And, uh, you know, I, I love that place. I love that place, uh, but now it's closed down. Uh, it was Colombian, this Colombian coffee place that I really like. I like coffee a lot. Um, and I like Colombian coffee. You need to hurry up this joke. Um, so, so anyways, you know, I'm, I'm walking, I'm walking past it, uh, solemn, solemn, and I see the store where it once was, and it has, it is miraculously reopened. It is miraculously reopened as Taste of, Taste of Columbia, and it's in like this cursive font, uh, and it's like supposed to be fancier. Okay, okay, shit, okay, I'll go back. So. <laughs> Um, I'm, 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 at, I'm at Cafe, I'm at Taste of Columbia, right? And I walk in, and I'm like, whoa, this place is, uh, this place is weird. It's the same, but different. It's fancier, but it's actually worse. Uh, I can't believe it. I mean, like, oh, fuck, I don't have time. Uh, okay, just imagine I tell a joke, like, what if I just rebranded and was fancier, but actually not, and actually pretty bad. Um, so, uh, uh, so, I was, um, okay. Uh, uh, I was, <laughs> anyways, I was, at, I was by this Cafe Baron Caro. Fuck, Taste of Columbia. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michael, I'm hurrying. <laughs> and it's like, uh, you know, it's better but worse. And, you know, it's like, uh, I go in and it's expensive. It's expensive, Cafe Baron Caro. Uh, but now Taste of Columbia is cheaper, but it's more fancy than mine. I don't understand. <laughs> Shit, um, so, I go in and it tastes like, uh, it tastes just like, it's like a little bagel crust. Like, right next to bagel crust. It's Colombian bagel crust next to bagel crust. And, uh, the empanadas are good and the coffee's good. Um, 